Imagine that. more people believe that these are chemtrails? Well, there's a Tucson resident heading the movement here on chemtrail. Thursday, November 3rd, 2016. Just wanted to show you something interesting here in Tucson, Arizona. Not that it's... Uh, Everything got all better or anything, but I thought it was quite interesting and beautiful to have some clouds for a break. Not like they stopped the spraying program, but at least for a minute. Maybe they gave the sprayer pilots a day off or something. Yesterday I noticed the same thing here in Tucson at least. Is that uh, it looked almost like God. I've just, I, I don't know how to say this, but like the real clouds, maybe, possibly, hard to tell, I don't know. but uh, I thought it was nice. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they put out some emails today about the spring, God, I wish, I wish. Yeah, emails about the spring. There we go. I'll call that today's title. Emails about the geoengineering, about the chemtrails. Where are them at? I'm sure they have emails about that too. Alrighty. Anyway, at least uh, right here in Tucson, Arizona for one day, or part of a day, we're seeing actual clouds. Wouldn't that be great if that's what we saw from now on? Yeah. Here we are a little later in the day. Pretty, pretty cool. It's nice to not see chemtrails everywhere, all around you. Nice to see real clouds. Of course, there is other crap in the sky that is questionable, but just the same. It's nice to see real clouds. But that's what they are, anyway. And so here we are, a little bit later, just, just turned to sundown. A few minutes ago and uh, now it's raining raining pretty good pretty good and pretty heavy okay just wanted to share that with you imagine that Tucson reporter Chris Ask. Geoengineering right over your heads. They're playing God with your air. Power medals. That's the gentleman tonight who leads the Tucson group. He really believes it. He really does.